Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and today I want to talk briefly about a pair of new 2.4 GHz dual-channel wireless mic systems sent to me by Comica, and I'll just cut to the chase. Until now, frankly, I've considered Comica to offer cheap, not particularly interesting nor compelling knockoffs of Rode's Wireless Go series, but with the release of their Vimo C3 for dedicated hybrid cameras and the Vimo S for smartphones, it's clear that Comica is an ambitious company, both products evincing an appreciation of industrial design, exceptionally compact dimensions, the utility of informative color screens, real physical controls, and integrated charging case, and the value of innovation epitomized by their onboard ambient noise suppression. I applaud Comica for all of this. I give them credit, too, for being very clear in the printed instructions which come with these systems that turning away from the receiver while wearing the mics may well cause dropouts, which anyone who's used these kinds of things before knows. Not just Comica, all of them. Candor and the proper management of expectations are good things, too rare in this industry, so thank you, Comica. But with this said, as those of you who follow me closely know, I've pretty much soured on the entire 2.4 gigahertz segment of the wireless market. In fact, the entire prosumer segment of the wireless segment because of repeated failures from even Rode and DJI under demanding real world conditions. Look for, and I'll put a link down in the show notes below for our used in anger series. It is also the case, whether you share my conclusion or not, that there are two things these Comica systems omit that most folks will probably want. One, mic jacks, so that separate lav mics can be used to better hide the mic altogether. And two, onboard backup recording, because sometimes you do want to turn away from the receiver and your SOL if you don't have it. To be fair, another new competitor on the scene, Saramonic's Blink 500 Pro X, doesn't have backup recording either, but it does have mic jacks and comes with a pair of labs as standard equipment. And while the Saramonic is significantly bigger and heavier than the Comica Vimo C3 in particular, the Saramonic's design a little less flashy, the Saramonic is a more substantial product. The segment's benchmark Rode and DJI systems, however, do have mic jacks and onboard recording. And while they do not have onboard noise reduction, they are better for it. I'll handle it right here on the big boy in the back cave. Okay, this is good. We've got the computer on behind me, two RAID systems on behind me, so there's a little ambient noise. Maybe the HVAC will kick in, I don't know. We've got a light that's pretty quiet. Channel 1 is Comica hybrid system. There goes the HVAC, thank you very much. Channel 2 is DJI. 
Channel 3 is the uh, Sony UWP D27 with the lav mic. The rest of the systems are not using lavs. Okay, this is good. We've got the computer on behind me, two RAID systems on behind me, so there's a little ambient noise. Maybe the HVAC will kick in. I don't know. We've got a light that's pretty quiet. Channel 1 is Comica hybrid system. There goes the HVAC. Thank you very much. Channel 2 is DJI. Channel 3 is the uh, Sony UWP D27 with the lav mic. The rest of the systems are not using lavs. Okay, this is good. We've got the computer on behind me, two RAID systems on behind me, so there's a little ambient noise. Maybe the HVAC will kick in. I don't know. We've got a light that's pretty quiet. Channel 1 is Comica hybrid system. There goes the HVAC. Thank you very much. Channel 2 is DJI. Channel 3 is the uh, Sony UWP D27 with the lav mic. The rest of the systems are not using lavs. Okay, this is good. We've got the computer on behind me, two RAID systems on behind me, so there's a little ambient noise. Maybe the HVAC will kick in. I don't know. We've got a light that's pretty quiet. Channel 1 is Comica hybrid system. There goes the HVAC. Thank you very much. Channel 2 is DJI. Channel 3 is the uh, Sony UWP D27 with the lav mic. The rest of the systems are not using lavs. It is also the case that their systems, that is DJI's and Rhodes, are better built. And both companies have very solid track records. Still, there's no denying that the Rode and DJI products are also far more expensive. The Rode Wireless Go 2, available for 270 these days without labs. The DJI mic system still coming in at 330 But I think if you want to go this route, it's worthwhile. The Vimo C3 by comparison is a shockingly low, 139 bucks. The Vimo S just 99. We're talking as little as one third the price of the more established players. For occasional use, especially for beginning YouTubers on a budget who harbor ambitions of filming interviews and or want the advantages of better sound quality than onboard mics can provide for solo performances with greater freedom of movement than small shoe mounted shotgun mics can provide as well. The combination of things these mics can do and the price at which they provide it may be appealing to some. The Vimo S in particular, aimed as it is at smartphone users, with its cleverer and far more compact design, and essentially throwaway pricing, may be worth it to some. But for now, if you do want to go down the 2.4 gigahertz route and you can afford it, and there are reasons too, it's plug and play, you don't have to do anything else. I'd recommend you pony up for the DJI system if you truly need two channels and want the option of being able to plug the receiver directly into your iPhone. It comes with a lightning adapter and fit quite nicely on my iPhone 14 Pro. If you can't swing it and can get by with just one channel, I'd opt for DJI's now $220 single channel kit. And that is all I have to say about that. <laughs>